Hey, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, I tried posting my first video last night when I was going through it, having some struggles, and it ended up getting erased. So I'm gonna make this my first video, and uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. So, I don't know if you can tell where I'm at, but I'll show you. Recognize this place? This is the Prosser Pot Shop. I don't know what it's called, but uh, we're gonna go in there tonight, undercover. I'm not gonna show faces, but we're gonna have uh, a talk and ask some tough questions, respectfully. We're gonna be respectful for now, but this place is my enemy. Uh, I know that some of their marijuana is getting into the hands of youth. I can guarantee that. And just the fact that they're here sucks. But what drives me crazy is they could just think they can come into town, bring all this drugs, these drugs that for most people are gateway drugs to other drugs come into town and then not support any sort of recovery program or give any money to those who need true drug intervention. That's what pisses me off. We're going to go inside and have a talk. This is, uh, this is the freedom foundation video. Number one, you're going in my pocket. What's up, man? I've never been in here before. Altitude, that's what it is, huh? Yeah. Yeah? I don't smoke weed, but I'm gonna check it out. Just get one of everything and call it good. And man. then I'll just one. <laughs> I'll start with I'll start with none tonight, but you could probably vape in here. I vape. You gotta show your ID and stuff? Yeah, you gotta show ID. Really? Even if I'm not buying nothing? God, it reeks in here like... I actually still kind of like the smell. You need my ID, bro? Okay. Oh. Uh, where, where does the information go? Fake? Oh. Is there a manager here tonight? You guys are both managers? Four managers, yeah. and, and then there's an owner too? Yeah. <laughs> Is the owner ever here? No. Yeah, you guys got a lot of product, huh? Mm -hmm. This is my first time in. I, I came in to check it out because I used to be a super stoner. I started in high school, you know? And uh, it was a gateway drug for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys believe in that, but for me and for a lot of people I know, they started with us and then like 40 years later, they're still doing meth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it, it sucks. But I understand this shit makes a lot of money, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. A shit ton of money. Yes. And then there's the bake shop too, yeah? yeah that's your competitor, huh? Yeah. Direct, competitor. Direct competitor. Do you think that any of this is getting into the hands of you? Uh, being completely honest, I'm not like, I'm not probably. It's like alcohol. When like when we were growing up, we'd ask people to buy alcohol. Probably, I mean, more people have it around. Yeah. Yeah, that's that kind of sucks. I'm against that. I'm not for that. I I really wanted to speak with the owner because I have a question, a pretty specific question that I don't know if you guys will know. Um, 
I heard a rumor that some of the money that you guys make goes towards some sort of recovery and drug drug recovery programs. You can take care of them. Yeah, no, from what I know. See you later, man. All, all the money just stays. Yeah, because the owner's a penny pincher. He's a penny pincher. Yeah, he would not give any money to anything. He wouldn't? He didn't have to, yeah. No, he wouldn't. The, if it's something like that, no, there's no way. And LCD is pretty, they're on top of it all the time. And no, there's no I thought there may have been a law in place that said that some of the money that was taxed had to go it could in that, so it could come through taxes yeah but you're saying specifically privately he does not no. he don't give a shit no. No. i don't i don't know if i would if i was making this much money i'd probably keep making that much money right yeah yeah i mean why not <laughs> he's, he's invested a lot he's put a lot on the line to make this happen Pretty beautiful store. Really? You guys like making more money each year? Seems like it. That's that's cool. Um, that's crazy. I wish that it only makes sense to me. I'm a recovering drug addict, and. I've struggled with everything, bro. I'll just be straight up honest with you. I don't hide that shit. And I'll let you take care of that. I'd like to have a, a cordial, quiet conversation with the owner and, and ask him like straight up, why wouldn't he, why wouldn't he give some portion back to his community that needs, needs help? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she's our general manager, Rochelle. Okay, um, she's, she's the one to talk to? She's the one that's in charge of the dispensary, and then the owner is obviously right above her. Um, so she's the one, if you want to contact the owner, she's the one. She's the one to get to. But she probably doesn't make the decision, right? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. yeah. If anything crazy, yeah. she's got to go through him, but for the most part, yeah, she's the one. She's the one that, that pulls it off. Okay. When is how often is she here? Uh, Monday through Friday, usually nine to four. Damn, that's when I work. Shoot. Thirty as well. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, you guys ever had anybody protest outside against you guys? I heard that you guys had like some people protest when you first opened. Probably. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, you didn't hear something. Well, I won't bug you much more, man. I I just want to take a look at what was out here and and just ask a few questions. I appreciate you being honest. That's cool. Um, do you like working here? Yeah, it's not bad. Does it pay the bills? Yeah. For the most part, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. It's a nice job. You get to meet a lot of people, huh? Yeah, a lot of people. I bet. I bet. What's up, man? That's cool. All right, well, this is who I'll, I'll uh, get in touch with. Mm -hmm. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah, no problem, man. And I, don't let that shit get in the hands of the youth. Yeah, man. Don't, don't tell somebody that you think might be given to somebody. Yeah. You guys can kind of tell, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You can tell who's like shifty people. Just, you're making enough money. Yeah. Do the right thing. I'm Ryan. Yeah. What's your name? Chelsea. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Later, bro. I hope you got all of that. Isn't that unbelievable? They just admitted, without knowing that they were on camera, that some of their pot is getting into the hands of youth. And that their owner is a penny pincher and would never give any money to help any drug rehabilitation program. I knew it was going to turn out like this. this. This is bullshit. I don't care if, if you smoke marijuana and that's your thing or whatever. It's not for people that are young. It's unhealthy until you turn at least 24 is what I heard. 
so do your thing at that age i don't care but for kids it's a gateway drug you might have to come out here and protest someday unless they're gonna fess up and uh start giving some money back to the community in some way hey maybe they'll give some money under the table privately and quietly to the freedom foundation or uh maybe thrive or maybe the, the prosper police department why don't they uh step up their game and and quietly do it we'll see what kind of a person these owners and general managers are if they have hearts and they understand that what's really going on <laughs> what's really going on I can't believe that I just heard them say that so this is what's going to be on this channel uh, I'm trying to do stuff that other people aren't doing obviously uh, we're going to we're going to work. Uh, how do I say this? They're giving pot to the youth knowingly. And they're not contributing to help society that they're actively destroying. Uh, if they don't actively participate in some sort of donation project or, or or project where they're giving to the community to make it a better community, uh, they're going to have an, a real problem. Um, they're going to have a real problem and I'm going to be their worst enemy. I might have 1,500 shirts made that say uh, marijuana is a gateway drug. Don't do it fucking pisses me off shit was here if, if i would have been fucked even earlier than 15 if a place like this was here it sucks being a youth man i wish the best for the youth and i i want some youth on my team and a part of what i'm doing because i want to know i want to know uh the truth from their their eyes so I'm going to post this now, and uh, I didn't do nothing illegal. I didn't show no faces, voices, but who gives a shit? You want to bust me and say that I did something illegal or report me, and you don't agree with what my beliefs are, then why don't you comment first? Let's have a discussion. If you got a problem with me, Let's have a discussion. Let's not uh, try to try to take me down for doing something illegal. The honest to God truth is, I don't know if you can record somebody's voice without their knowing or not. And the other part of the honest truth to that is, I don't give a shit. I just got some really valid information and you all just heard it. It's affecting our community and I'm going to put an end. I'm going to be a part of a, of a team. Hopefully if I can get enough people on board to help me out, that's going to put a stop to this. We need to be shutting places like this down. There's another place. We'll go to another place later. That's all I'm doing for tonight. Let me know what you think about this. Peace.